Hi, my name is Matteo Pedercini, and with my colleagues at the Millennium Institute, we develop simulation tools to help decision makers design effective strategies for sustainable development. Starting January 2016, the world will embark in a new and ambitious journey towards ending poverty in all its dimensions while caring for the environment. This is the United Nations Agenda 2030. Governments will be facing tough challenges in their planning. How to turn the aspirations embedded in the 17 Sustainable Development Goals into an effective national development plan? Such goals are tightly interrelated and meeting them requires integrated strategies that cover all the 17 dimensions in a unified and harmonic way. Policymakers will have to address, among others, questions such as how to coordinate and harmonize investment across different areas, how to leverage on the positive synergies among interventions and limit undesired effects, how much resources are needed to achieve the SDGs and how to finance such investment. We have developed the Integrated Model for SDG Analysis ISDG, to support decision makers addressing such questions. The ISDG model is based on the T21 technology and is easy to use. In just a few clicks, we can identify areas where intervention is needed. We can introduce relevant policies in a broad variety of sectors, from energy to poverty, from social services to infrastructure, and we can simulate them individually and in combination. We can make assumptions about the sources of financing, and we can analyze simulation results. The dashboard provides an overview of the intervention's impact for all the 17 goals. Due to the integrated nature of the model, the effect of a single intervention propagates across the system to affect all sectors. More in depth, we can trace how such effects spread across sectors and see time graphs for specific indicators. The ISDG model is a broad and integrated tool to support the design and assessment of effective strategies to achieve the SDGs. It has a low resolution compared to sector-specific models and is not to be intended as a substitute for those, but as a tool to support policy makers in establishing policy coherence and building an integrated view on development strategies.